The Book of Clarence, released in 2023, can be seen on Netflix, a film for heretics and fans of Lakeith Stanfield. I'm Clarence. I'm not a man without faults. I played the cards I was dealt. Clarence, in spite of your selfish ways, there is a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Clarence, it's here. Jesus of Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. Knowledge is stronger than belief! <laughs> Clarence, you need miracles. I have a plan. I can see! I can see! <laughs> sent me to deliver his message. I am your new messiah. You're from a swine. Ah, stop that. Your God is a myth. See for yourselves. There is no messiah. Parents, if you'll be so kind to walk on water. Going in to watch this gospel according to Clarence, brother of Thomas, that's Doubting Thomas, a member of the 12 apostles who followed the Christ, the viewer has to know that if Lakeith Stanfield is in it and starring in it, there are going to be some weird occurrences. Clarence director, writer, and producer James Samuel, most recently known for The Heart of the Fall, decided that audiences would be enamored with Apostles of Christ in blackface with the grifter, Stanfield, seeking to make some shekels, that's money, and a name for himself by declaring himself the new Messiah. The problem here is that this Messiah didn't quite understand what was actually going to happen to the Messiah once the Romans got a hold of him. Yes, the Romans are all white and everybody else is black. And for some reason, Director Samuels decided to stick a white Christ in the mix just to confuse things even more. Alfred Woodard lends her time to this uninteresting flop, along with Omar Sy, fresh off successes with the Lupone series, along with David Oyelowo, fresh off Lawman Bass Reeves and Selma. He depicts John the Baptist, who in one scene attempts to baptize the non-believer that Stanfield's character depicts. This is a word-heavy, slow-moving tale with the modern music mix and one dance, mu dance scene that might hold your interest. Otherwise, this is for viewers who just like to see actors in blackface. I won't watch it again. The Book of Clarence, released in 2023, can be seen right now on Netflix. Five of ten stars. Stax, Soulsville, USA, released in 2024. An HBO original can be seen on Max. This is a documentary that is worth an award. Sound. Isaac Hayes, Sam and Dave, Carla Thomas, Otis Redding. Oh, we were energized, successful. That music was where I wanted to be. I know a place. Jim Stewart and his sister Estelle fell in love with black music. Mrs. Axton began to encourage dancing inside. It was an anomaly. I was working out at the record shop. I got to play on some sessions. Music just brought us together on a real level. There was a feeling, a permission for that magic to happen. Nobody knew what was happening inside of those doors. If there were blacks and whites making the music together, that could have been a problem. what Stax was. It was a product of creative and rare people. It just blew me away. The time that we were living in, it was hard. 
you can suppress a person for so long and they will rise up. It was our realization, the importance of sex to the black community. We were reaching another level we had not known existed. We were on top of the world. But because of its successes and what it represented, those with the power, they wanted Stax to be erased. The attitude in the industry for Stax is over. I didn't accept that, though. I couldn't. There are few documentaries that will tug at your heart as Soulsville, USA will. Yes, it's the story of a company set up to make money, but in truth, Stax was set up purely to make music. But as with all things, the business gets in the way and demands your attention. There are no actors here, only the stars and producers and the owners who brought this dream to life in Memphis, Tennessee. It's great watching and listening to the stars tell their stories. Isaac Hayes, Johnny Taylor, Rufus, and Carla Thomas, and were given some insight into the life of the late, great Otis Redding, along with the Barquets, Steve Cropper, and more. But it's the business that takes the viewer to the mountaintop and through the valleys and eventually to the valley of death for this company. The music will keep you singing throughout. The stories behind the music will emit a lot of emotions as you watch. Remember what stacks? Well, when you watch this, wow, I never knew all of that happened will come from your lips. Each episode is long, but well edited by Somali Biangaga, Tim K. Smith, John Sin, Anuka Lilja, and K.A. Mealy, and directed by Jamila Wignot, with personal interview cinematography by Brian Gentry. The scripting are the real words of those who went through it with Stax and remember the glory days of Soulsville, USA. I'd watch it again. It's certainly worth your subscription. Stax, Soulsville, USA, released in 2024, an HBO original which can be seen on Max. Nine of ten stars. <laughs>